We are in Dubai, in a penthouse. Are we actually rolling? Yes, sir. So this is happening. Huh? Dap me up, man. Dap me up. All right. We're getting into it. We have the very first Mikey again in real life case study. In Dubai. We are in Dubai. Very first of all, how does that feel? How was your experience over here? I don't know. It's crazy. It, this place is not real. It's like we're in the future. I feel poor. No words. No words. Amazing. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Well, we also have like another special thing here, which is your first 100K month. Honestly, how is it to make 100K in one single month? Like, is that, does that feel real? What's going on? I've been seeing it. Everybody does it. You see that it's in people's results. You don't believe it will happen to you. No. This one hits. This one actually hits, like... Every other time I hit a huge milestone, like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But like once you see the six zeros, like ah, I don't know, like it's just you actually feel it. like it's it's actually it's crazy. It's crazy. That's all. Like five say. zeros, five zeros, five zeros. What are you talking about, bro? Six figures. Isn't that what? What are you talking about, <laughs> bro? It's six. six figures. It's one and then five zeros. Six figures. Yeah, that's what I meant. Six, yeah, yeah. So six zeros is a million, <laughs> but, but you have the five, five, five zero thing. Did anything change for you personally? More people are reaching out to me asking for help now because they've seen it actually works and I've been able to do it consistently over and over again. Like real life people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so people are actually now reaching out to me asking me to help them mm -hmm. so that's pretty much what has changed apart from that tell me how, how that is i'm not going to lie i now realize how difficult it is to escape the matrix because all the people that come to me they ask what to do i tell them the first step which mm -hmm. is do product research find yeah. products yeah. immediately they realize it's not as easy as they expected <laughs> they're gone so it's like, wow, like, if you can't get past just this, like, now I see how this 1% thing, like... Were you shocked on the the speed of people, how they just move on to another thing? Because, obviously, coming from your perspective, I can imagine how, like, you just kept doing it for, until it worked. Are you shocked? Is it something which you didn't expect and you thought everybody, if, if they see how, how, like, how it worked for you, that everybody's going to do the same? Honestly, it didn't blow my mind, but there was this one person that I literally kept telling him over and over and over again, make one single TikTok, one single TikTok. It's been like two, three weeks. The guy hasn't made a single TikTok. Like, I'm telling you the thing where you've seen the numbers. I don't know. Like, it's just this mental block that a lot of people have been, maybe they've grown up with the culture. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the crazy part is, is obviously those people are not in the e-com dropshipping bubble. They have no idea what's going on. They just see a friend or a family member starting to make crazy numbers and they basically are like, all right, I want to do the same. That is kind of like a lot of people of those are just not going to start at all. But also people in the e-com industry who are actually watching a bunch of YouTube videos like are in it are experiencing the same thing. They basically are, are just not starting. And I think I can't keep thinking about the statistic you told me with the page flight thing because that one is still crazy. I think we should recap. Like, do you still have that number? Do you, do you know ex the exact one? I think like literally about 80% of the people that signed up to a link which allows you to make a Shopify website, 80% of those people didn't even create the website. They did nothing with it. They just clicked the link, downloaded the app, did nothing with it. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. And the crazy part is that's the 80% drop off. After that, that's people who did a store. What does that mean? You did a store. Like, it's nothing. You did a store. What do you think is the drop off from making the first store to making the first sale? 
and then making the first thousand dollars a month and then making the first thousand profit then 10k in profit and then 100k a month it's just immense a lot of people think about drop shipping as this thing where you basically just start posting a couple of videos on tiktok and you just go viral and you start making money and that's it and it's just not like that they think their problem is something which is not their problem for example like what i told you with the main question ever being asked to me was how do I set up the VPN, US SIM strategy, whatever? That's the main thing people ask me. And they honestly think if that is handled, they are rich. They just need to handle that one thing and that's over. I've asked a couple of people in the program on what they actually expected when they started and how they envisioned it. And basically they thought, I understand you, you're saying it's going to be difficult on, on YouTube, but like I thought I'm just going to start posting a few videos and I'm going to go viral and I'm going to make money. And then I'm basically going to be balling, quitting my job and that's it. And this is how you envision it, like in your head. That's how you dream of it, but it's not reality. And it's it, like, you're going to learn that really quick. You post your first 25 TikToks and you're, gonna see, you're, you're just seeing what, like nothing really works. Yeah. How did you manage to keep going? I think that's the biggest one. For me, in the beginning, I set a limit for myself. One year. No matter what, I will keep going for one year. So that was the first thing that kept me going and even getting close to that one year i was literally almost about to give up even that is not really enough it's the best bet is getting some kind of person that will keep you accountable and in my case it was you and jacob so that's what's what pretty much helped the whole situation you think you would have stopped dropshipping if you wouldn't make it work after a year i th I, nothing like I, imagine nothing you're just, right now a year past you're getting blocked on facebook you made like 25 sales overall nothing nothing works yeah probably i'm not gonna lie probably probably it would be so hard because i've put so much effort into it a whole year mm -hmm. but like it gets like there's a limit i i understand there's a limit but like everybody has their limits i gave myself a year and so yeah and you said you already were close to giving up before the year yeah like Whoa. literally around like august september there because i tried so many, like I, I was trying so many different things nothing was working i started with organic i didn't try it properly but i tried it it didn't work tried facebook ads i spent so much money i spent all the money i had yeah. i spent my sister's money you spent your sister's money yeah <laughs> really yeah it got to a point where i didn't have any money so, uh, yeah. so like i had to ask her for money and everything did you pay her back oh uh, yeah i'm I mean, us, us meeting here wasn't the only reason I came to Dubai. Like, I took, I brought my sister out and like a couple other cousins. So we had a good time. They are gone now, but. Amazing. Yeah. How, like, how did she think about the whole thing? Why did she give you money? It's not even that she believed in me. It's just that, okay, actually, I think she did believe in me. Because she was literally the only person there. She saw me literally just sitting at my laptop every day non-stop working 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 so it's like either it's going to work or i don't even know and she just i, I guess had faith in me and decided to give it a shot and see yeah, wow. yeah and like when you started out um what did you expect let's say the day when you the, the signed up for shopify you made your first store what did you expect i expected to make sales immediately <laughs> actually i didn't really have any expectations coming into this it was just try it and see what happens i was hoping that for the ideal situation where i make as much money as possible everything works out but that's not how life works life is hard if it was that easy and i made something in a month it pro i would have probably lost all that money in the next month so i'm glad things worked out the way they did yeah i've seen the whole like making it really fast is a blessing and a curse it's the same if we take like the the, the last like the andy mm. as as an example he made like 200k in the last month and we're like one and a half month or something he's 16 he has no clue what he's doing that's bad you, you your expectations are super high now keep in mind he tested like seven products or six products before me and it didn't work and it like it, it kind of worked he made like 9k in sales so it was, it was all right but this jump to like really really crazy numbers was too fast and you need to be able to to mentally process that and your bar now is instantly is at this like you're a 100k a month profit entrepreneur everything which is less is a downgrade 
you, you like something doesn't work out. And I know a couple of those people, it's just very easy to fall off and you, you basically start being like super unhappy and not, not appreciating your results at all anymore. Um, I feel like what you experience is a, a much better path because in the end of the day, every single problem you had helped you till now. Like every problem you overcame is also a reason, the, the reason why you made it work. Bro, it doesn't feel like that, you know. In the, whilst you're suffering, whilst you're suffering dealing with payment processor issues, supplier issues, in the moment, it doesn't feel like this is going to help me or benefit me in the end. But then at the end, when you come out of it, you realize you get the, all these new stress tolerance skills and everything. So all these things definitely built me, made me better, maybe stronger. Would you say you as a person also changed with the business or was oh, it just you making more money? 100%, 100%. My whole mindset around what anyone can do is change. I literally believe you can literally do anything you want. Like life is like a video game. You can literally get up and say, I want to become a millionaire, a billionaire. You can do that. Almost anyone can. The only problem is that it's hard to get to that point. And when people start realizing how hard it is to get to that point, that's when they start dropping off. And then they start believing that, oh, this doesn't work. I can't be whatever I want, blah, blah, blah. You can. You can. You just need to put in the work. The work is hard, but you need to do it. And if you do it, get the right guidance, it will work out. Honestly, I lost that belief at this point. I like, really? I, I, yeah, I, I, I understand saying this sounds great, and if I, I honor, like, I'm 100 percent sure that you also believe it right now. I don't anymore because I just see people who cannot make it work. They actually cannot make it work. They're trying everything, but it's not in their like. Let's say you're 60. You were working on construction for the last 30 years. Somebody tells you, do TikTok again. You have no idea what TikTok is. What any, like, it's it's not that. Yeah. It's not very, it's, it's very, 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 very difficult for a lot of people. And it's possible, but most people are not going to do it. And yeah. the problem is that you pick something which is not for you. If you were, were working at, like on a construction for the last 35 years, you shouldn't do TikTok organic, probably. If, if you never scroll on TikTok, it, it doesn't make sense. However, like if you actually want to, you're going to be able, able to upgrade your life in another way. You're going to be able to achieve a bunch of goals in a different way, but you need to understand that there are limits. And this is, I don't like, I don't even know if we should include this because it's, it kind of sounds depressing, but I feel like it, it is the reality. It's, it's, it's just not possible for everybody, which is something which you need to understand. If you right now just physically cannot film videos, you, you cannot start TikTok organic. And there's a bunch of other different hurdles which, which are just going to stop you. If you, for example, talk about the, the, the friends or the people who you know who started but then didn't start, why do you actually think they didn't? Like, why, what's the specific reason? What do you think? Either they believe that they'll try and put in all their efforts and nothing will work, or it's built deep into their mind and their culture. Like, because where, where I'm from, like, this whole internet lifestyle making money online it's it's not a thing like yeah. you don't just make money online you have to go to school university masters yeah. job typical life path if you are not open or exposed to this kind of world it's very difficult to like break out of it so it's not most people's faults but at the same time it's your fault. It's very important to not blame them though. Like I I actually was really frustrated in the beginning when I started helping people and I put an energy and time and focus on a person and they just didn't do shit. It's very frustrating. But I understood they, they shouldn't be doing it. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense for them. And I literally stopped pushing people to do something when they don't want to actually do it by themselves. I, like even with friends and family, I started giving them hurdles. In the beginning, I gave them like difficult tasks where like find 25 products, find 50 products that which fit the credit. Like even just that, already is going to filter a bunch of people out and you're not going to waste your time. And on top of that, like what I told you, the, the donation thing, like I, I literally tell people, if you're like a family member, I'm, I'm not going to charge anything from you. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, look, donate $500 to whatever you want. And then I know you're serious. I'm going to teach you everything I know. No problem. Nobody does it. Not a single person ever has done anything. 
It's not, it does that, it doesn't happen. It's very important to not try and convince people of what you want and just let them live. I, I, I've honestly, it's too much energy. It's way too much energy. Yep, yep, 100%. But anyways, like other thing, how, how, how is Dubai? How do you, how do you like it over here? It's hot. Dubai is very hot. But I, this place is like some freaking futuristic maze of, I, we are in a penthouse. I don't, I don't know if you want to mention that, but we are in a penthouse. There's a swimming pool outside. There are like 10,000 rooms. Like, uh, I, my, I am in a whole different space than I've ever been. And it has shifted my mindset completely. I feel like I have done nothing. I am nowhere. And I need to get back on the grind and like keep putting stuff out to get somewhere because i've i've 100k is crazy for me crazy for me a year ago disgustingly crazy but like when you open your eyes <laughs> you look outside you realize yeah it's, it's nothing yeah yeah well first of all it's like i, I really don't like if, if you wouldn't be here we wouldn't film any of this. Like you, nobody on you on YouTube right now would basically see where I'm at. And I, I, I honestly, I don't like the whole bragging about like where you are and what you like, how much money you have, or what car you drive. I, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I don't do that generally. I, I kind of cringe at myself when I when I when I brag about anything. But I feel like in this specific case, it kind of makes sense to show it a little bit, just because it's like your first time experiencing all of this. And it makes sense. And I feel like this is something which is more motivating than cringy, even though I, I will still feel a bit off uploading all of this. It's it's just something which um which which for you is not weird because you showed everything so far and it was super transparent. Right now you're doing wild stuff and it's also transparent showing that. So yeah. I feel like that kind of makes it all right. Um so so that's why I'm also by the way, that's also why I'm so pissed at not doing a journey channel in the beginning. I really wanted to do that, but um, yeah. How did your perspective on money change? A thousand dollars now is definitely not what a thousand dollars was a year or two ago. Cause I had like $700 in my bank accounts. That was everything. And now you are making me spend like what's six six to eight thousand dollars a month on creators and other people who are working for me which is stressing me out but it's working so <laughs> my perception of money has changed drastically drastically i don't want to say i don't value a thousand dollars as much but i know what is out there and i know i could strive for more if i lower or lower my standards and try and do more if that makes sense yeah no 100 percent. but the whole perspective thing constantly changes and for you right now i understand that spending like 6k a month on employees and stuff like that sounds ridiculous and crazy but to me it sounds like you're you're losing every single day while you, you you're not spending more because i understand the value of it and right now i'm spending over 80k a month on on all the employees and it feels to me Every single day, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I honestly think I'm not spending enough. By far, like I'm, I'm really underspending on all the employee thing because I just know how much more money it makes me through just hiring really good people. Every single really good hire makes you a crazy amount of extra money. And for you, you experienced it like semi a little bit, but you didn't get it. Like you, like when you told me about this the one creator who made you like how much 30k in one week or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. And I pay him like what thousand two a month. A month. Yeah. And he made thirty k a week. <laughs> yeah. That one experience made up all the money you lost on hiring a bunch of other creators. Yeah. You told me that, and you didn't understand that. That's crazy. You just told me like, yeah, I mean, this guy's doing great. He he made thirty k, and that's yeah. it. But that blew my mind because in reality, what happened is you sat there, didn't do shit. A random guy filmed videos for you, edited them. You just post, you just click on upload and you made 29K, obviously like 15K profit or whatever, yeah, yeah. but still it's crazy. It is, it is. Yeah. It's happened another, again. So it's not like it's a one-time thing. So how much was the second one? 
it wasn't as big. It was, it was like 10k in sales, and he is getting the same pay. So also one k a month. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's, it's it's very profitable. Very yeah. very profitable. Yeah. And you guys need to think in averages. Like this is something you don't do yet, but you're gonna understand it very soon, and you start to understand it just through the experiences. But you need to understand that. Let's say you have a lottery where you can win two thousand dollars. And there's a 50% chance of winning. If the ticket costs $1,000, you're gonna, on average, break even, right? Yeah. Every second ticket you win, two, so you break even. That's how you need to think. You have, you hire 10 creators. One of them, if he makes you 10K, you're breaking even. But the crazy thing is, you hire them once, and they give you 10k every single month, forever. The lottery is just so mu- it's rigged in your favor, and people don't take that advantage. And the craziest thing is, you have Instagram, you 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 have all Upwork, you have all those like you specifically have the YouTube channel with like an insane reach where you you just do like one small shout out and like 300 people want to work for you. You need to take that opportunity for sure. 100%, I agree. But I think the the perspective on money. Thing. The, the 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 story you told me about the whole laptop thing. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I said I bought a Mac. I bought a Mac quite recently, and I poured some sparkling water on it, and it broke. That Mac was very expensive. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I didn't feel anything. I don't know why. I don't know. Like, it didn't really, like, hurt me. Three, like, it was like $3,000 plus dollars for the thing. So, I just I just bought another one. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it wasn't the same price, but I just bought another one. Like, so it's, it's, I don't know if it's getting to my head or... It's not getting to your head. This is just the the perspective you're going to have. And you understand, money starts to become not money, but just a number, which is just going up and down and you don't really understand what's going on. You have no clear idea how much you actually have because it's like payouts and this and that. And you don't really understand. It's just like a random number and it just is basically there and you can buy whatever you want. After you hit a certain point, it's just you buy whatever you want and there's a number which goes up and down, not connected to how much you're spending. It's it's two separate things. So you lose the laptop, is not connected to your bank account because that is not the impact which is gonna change anything. I think for me, it started to become a thing after like 20 net after taxes, which is pretty difficult in Germany. Like it's, it's basically 40K in profit. Um, so that's where it started to become a thing where it's like, whatever, it's sure, yeah, I'm like, there's a, a thing which I just lost, but it doesn't really matter because nothing changed. Mm-hmm. No, nothing actually changed. So from now, you say your perspective completely changed after seeing all of this madness. Mm. Um, what's your goal here? I need to make more money, period. I need to be, everybody needs, millionaire needs to be the standard before you even start thinking of going anywhere. Everybody needs to be a millionaire, obviously not, but that is the standard I need to set and I am not there yet and it's annoying me. I see all these luxury cars. It's not like I'm into car luxury cars, but the fact that there are things that people get and they don't even care about it, like it's literally nothing to them, shows how far back I am and how much work I need to put in. The next few months, I'm just going to be lock in. Like, it's, I don't even know. It's going to be crazy. I remember how you didn't want to come here. Yes. <laughs> because you wanted to work. Yes. But I feel like a week of just seeing something else opens your eyes to working way more later. <laughs> yeah, for literally just a few days. Like, yeah. um, um, it's wild. It's wild. This Matrix thing is it's real. We're stuck in the matrix. Need to get out of it. What's the quickest way to do that? I mean, it depends on your situation. You're starting out right now. You're, you're watching this video. So you're into dropshipping. You didn't really make money. Maybe you made like less than 10K ever. How well, do you get out? The quickest way for a beginner is definitely TikTok organic. Because Facebook ads, first of all, you need money. Second of all, you have to deal with bands and all those things. TikTok organic, you literally just order a product from yeah. Amazon or something and then just film it. Mm-hmm. You need to get better at the skill that will take a bit of time but what if you have the mindset that i'm not coming in this to make money immediately i'm coming in to learn the skill for a couple months 
it shouldn't it wouldn't be a problem for you at all tiktok organic is definitely the way to go mm-hmm. in this day and age for you drop shippers you probably might start the tiktok organic but it may get to a point where there are a lot of questions that you will have and all those things and you definitely need someone who will probably guide you i wouldn't have made it work without you so you should probably look into getting a mentor he it will make things 10 times easier it's not like some pitch for him it's a it will make your life 10 times easier so just get a mentor stop stressing yourself out like make things easy like with everything you, you just like it's, it's very simple you just find a person who did what you want to do and you pay them to help you it's just that and there are a lot of areas where it makes less sense because you don't let's say a fitness coach you cannot put a monetary value on you losing weight there's no specific number all right i'm i justify paying 2k because losing weight is, is worth 2k for me in a case where you make money it's a direct correlation where you spend x and you make x times 10 for example and you just it's it's directly correlated it's an investment where you just make more and it's not it's it's not very indirect like every other area where people pay for coaches it's a very 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 strict thing where you just spend this and you make more if you apply the things we need to keep in mind the the very beginning what i was talking about it doesn't make sense for a lot of people like if you're watching this right now and you're 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 in a position where you have 20 minutes a day because you have a kid and you have two full-time jobs and you're just like you you don't have any mental space to do this it doesn't make sense for you to start if you for example right now are thinking about doing drop shipping but you're not really committed and you're also looking into affiliate marketing and amazon fba and you're looking into like 25 different business models don't start. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Pick one. Go for whatever you want. It's. I'm, by the way, I'm not saying that dropshipping is better than anything else. Even though I, I do think that. I like. If you actually think that affiliate marketing for you fits better, because, whatever, go ahead. But only do that, or only do this. And if you pick this, do it until it works with a strategy where you're 100% sure that it also works. Because most people, what you said in the beginning was you were jumping around 25 strategies, not because you wanted to, but because you were not sure which one is good and which one is working. Even the Tick Organic strategy, which is the best one right now, you did it. The reason why you didn't keep doing it is because you weren't sure that it's the right one. And within organic, even if you, all right, now you, for example, you right now, you know right now, Organic is the way to go. You're 100% going to start with that. That's not enough because now you're in it and you post a video and you post another video and you post another video. You don't go viral and you're going to ask yourself, what's the problem? Is it my product? Should I switch? Is it my videos? Should I do something else? Is it my VPN strategy? Does it not work? Am I shadow banned? You're going to have a bunch of different questions and their answer is not going to be clear. If you think back to the beginning, would you have guessed the problems which you were doing? <laughs> no. It's, it's, you, you don't know. You don't know if it's the product or whatever it is. Yeah. First, you don't know whether it's the product. You don't know whether you should keep doing the same strategy. You don't like, you are going in blind. Why not just get someone to just show you the way? And I was, I'm very stubborn. Like I wanted to do it. I'm one of those people that wanted to figure it out myself. Try, 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 try. I was even reluctant to even start working with you because I wanted to do it myself, but it was getting to like my limit. And I was like, I need some help. So I know there are some people who will probably be like me, who will just try and resist for as long as possible. You will either quit or you will get a mentor anyway. So why not do it now? So if you're actually down to go this journey properly and you're ready to commit to dropshipping and see this as the priority, click the link below, sign up for a call. We're going to find out if it's a good fit. If we think you are, we're going to start working in the program where we're just going to do the same exact thing with, like, with Mikey and we're going to guide you through the entire process of finding a winner scaling it and doing that over and over and over again and, and then start cr- hiring creators who are going to do the same thing for you this is all way too flashy i don't want to show off the dubai thing it's not like you're not going to be in dubai anytime soon you're not going to make 100k a month anytime soon don't think about that you will be able to quit your job if you make less than let's say 5k a month in profit you're going to be able to quit your job within the next three months if you do this properly maybe it's going to take you longer maybe you're going to be faster but you're going to be able to replace a full-time income if you do what we tell you. If you're interested, click the link below and I will talk to you soon.